不要停，感受奔跑的声音，清醉笃定。天不要命，静听等待的心跳声，勇敢者的真心情。是迷途中最亮的星，照亮了未来和曾经，支撑着每一段路前行。生命中所有拥抱和相遇，云淡风轻。Colonel, the results are in. First place, Leopard, twelve votes. Second place, Rifle, ten votes. King, Soldier, and Camo, seven votes each. Tied for third. So far, we've got two contestants, but the third. These three dogs got the same number of votes. They're all very qualified, Colonel. How about we just do it again? Vote another round. Commissar, since we've got a tie here, why don't we choose based on their individual records? Our camo was just awarded a third-class merit. Camo is a strong tracker, but Leopard is stronger. What about King? His teamwork abilities are way better than the others. Based on our records, that's Rifle's strongest suit. Damn it. Commissar, the choice is quite clear. Our soldiers will take the last spot. But Soldier is not a detection dog. What this team needs most is a dog with a sharp nose. Su Ching, what do you think? Colonel, I want to nominate a dog that didn't make the list. Which one? Tiger, Squad Three, Hander Benner. I object. Tiger just underwent surgery, and he hasn't recovered yet. I agree. He was badly injured. Even his daily training regime is a challenge. Su Ching, why Tiger? Tiger inherited Bella's sense of smell. His recovery has been a hundred percent success. Now that Shiro's gone, Tiger's the best sniffer dog we have in the battalion. What about his mental state? Do you remember Tracker? He was once the best dog in our battalion. He recovered quickly from his leg injury, but mentally he was never the same. You see, he was only four when he was discharged. As everyone at this table knows, dogs can be very resilient creatures. After near-death experiences, some come back even stronger than before. Tiger was showing progress his first day after surgery. A week later, he was standing up and walking unaided. He's very persistent. His handler Benno lost his dog and his best friend, which makes him cherish every chance he gets. If he's picked, he won't give up. At this high level, skill is not a decisive factor. It's persistence. A strong will is the root of all success. I'll stake my reputation on it and sign a pledge. Give me a month, and I'll help Benno train Tiger up. And I guarantee he'll be in his absolute best shape ever. If she signs a pledge, then so will I. Okay. Enough. Whoever's dog is in the best shape is in. Commissar, your opinion? I agree. Good news. The results are out. Tell us, hurry! Which dog do they select? Yeah, the first one is Hodong's leopard. And then second place, 
went to Yodong and Rifle. Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, stop celebrating. What about the last one? For third, Colonel said, if Tigery covers enough, then he gets the last spot. Yo! Yes! Yes! Yeah! 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 Right. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure? Definitely. Captain Sue vouched for Tiger. She submitted a pledge at the meeting. Butcher, you heard it? Two of the three candidates are from our company! Sorry. Benno! Captain Two. Captain Two, may I ask you a question? Sure. Do you think a jockey would make his horse race with an injury? I'll answer with a question. Do you know how important it is for a dog to enter this competition? But I believe life is more important than honor. I can't let Tiger take that risk. Just because you're afraid doesn't mean you can deprive Tiger of this chance to succeed. I don't care if he succeeds or not. I only want him to be happy. That's enough. You see his injuries, but you don't see what will really heal him. I'm his handler. I think I know him a little bit more than you do. I don't think so. Come with me. better and faster than I expected. We've got two months. Think he'll be able to bounce back in time? Remember, you're a handler. You can't keep underestimating your dog like that. You know what he needs most now? To get on that field. back, Wu Qiang also had a chance to compete. Another three days and he would have been running that field with Bullet. But the battle changed all that. It was his dying wish. Now you have a chance to fulfill it. You're gonna pass it by? Also think of Tiger. This may be his last chance to prove himself, regain his confidence and heal emotionally. See what you mean. Captain, you like it? It's great. Oh. Good, go. You see that? Your friend Benno is a good guy. I know he'll do you proud in the competition and fulfill your wishes. Your 
情叫做懂，有种心动叫做等，有种默契叫做忠，有种信任叫做宠，有种快乐叫做疯，有种分。This is probably the last supper we'll have together. Don't say Shut up! Hey, beer's here! Hey, it's all I can get in such short notice. One bottle each. That's all. Here, grab one. Here. There you go. Yeah. Hey, listen to me. This dinner, we have to see Butcher off. When he comes, say something fancy. Don't make him feel bad. You hear it, you? Look at all these beers. Why is nobody drinking? Huh? Ah. <sighs> oh my. Food looks good. You guys went all out. Happy I'm leaving, huh? Huh? <laughs> good. Why are you here? I called her. Discharge report. You wrote it, huh? Take it back. I've told Lieutenant Gao that it's against your will. Take it back. It's already done. Stamped and sealed. I can't. I haven't been a soldier, but I know what a deserter looks like. I was told that a man can't be a deserter. I feel ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you. I'm not a deserter. I just don't want to waste time. I know you feel bad. Hey, Lieutenant Gao said he would give you a holiday. Whatever you want to go, I'll be with you, okay? But one thing, you can't discharge and go home. Hey, you hear that? She's talking some sense. You know, I've served in the military for a long time. This uniform is easy to put on, but it's hard to take off. You know why? Because this uniform is a part of me now. But, Chef. Uh... You're under a lot of mental stress. We all worried about you, and we feel sad. Take this chance and travel with Hui Qin. Have fun and relax yourself. If you still want to discharge after you get back, we won't stop you. Mm. Although we all want you to hang on, anyhow, you'll always be our brother. Mm. And I know it's your own business. Butcher. Don't forget what I said. I won't leave you behind. And you don't leave me. Have a good trip, okay?
Let's take a walk. Huh? Remember to walk every day. Otherwise, you won't get any better, you know? Hey. But in dog years, that's close to a hundred years old. So go ahead, do the math, see for yourself. One year is seven years. Am I right? Yes. Hey, give her a salute. She likes it. Okay, sure, come on, everyone. Okay. Salute this hero. Salute! Good. Hey, girl, see? They're saluting. Ready? All right, go have some fun. Show Bella what you got. Let's go. Let's show her, boys. Okay, okay, okay let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, girl, let's watch for a bit. Then you got to take your pills, okay? Okay? Mm. Good. Yeah. Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. Here, here. Come and get it. Tired, huh? All right, I'll have a rest. You're an old girl now. You still think you're young and go wherever you want? Huh? <laughs> Remember now, you're hurt. You gotta take it easy, okay? During the manhunt on August 17th, we caught four suspects in total and ferried out $1.5 in drug money. One of the suspects, who's called Tony, told us there is a huge amount of drugs going through our border check post every month. At first, we suspected they had someone on the inside. We investigated, but everyone checked out. We began beefing up our inspections after that, but again we found nothing. The top brass has given this case top priority. We've already assigned a special task force. According to our latest intel, a previously unknown group is working in the area. They manufacture, transport, and distribute an array of narcotics. It's likely headed by a wanted fugitive that got away from us on Mount Furry by phone. That's why we've come here. We want to ask you to do us a favor. We want you to help us find out how they produce, hide, and traffic drugs. Fighting crime is what we do. We won't let you down. You want to give me a heart attack? Where are you? Hey, Jahong! Jahong! Where are you going? Hey, you look anxious. What happened? It was a nice day today, so I thought I'd take Bella for a walk. 
We were enjoying the sunshine when I saw some new recruits playing basketball, so I took her over to watch them. We stayed a while, and it was time for a pill, so I brought her back. After we got back, I started preparing her pills, but then after... Just get to the point, okay? Bella's missing. Bella's missing? How could it be? Where's she gone? Have, Have you found her? Where did she go? I don't know. I've looked in every corner of the battalion, but where could she have gone? Bella! 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 Where are you? Tiger needs his mom! Bella! Where are you? Bella! 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 Hey, girl! Bella! Bella! Hey, girl! Doc, I've already looked there. Nothing. Bella! I'll give you your favorite dessert. Come on! Bella! Bella, where, where did you go? Why won't you tell me? You know, you know how worried I am. Bella. I know you're old, but so am I. You can't leave me. Don't leave like this. Don't scare me. You should have told me, right? You should have said something before you left, right? I just went to get your pills. Why did you run away? Why did you leave? Don't, don't scare me. Where did you go? <laughs> Jahong! Jahong! Bella, I know you're playing hide and seek. Today, I saw she was in a good mood, so I gave her half a cookie. Usually, I don't give her sweets, you know? So after she ate it, she went to the other half too. I told her I would save it for Jahong. next time. We're trying to find Bella. Don't worry about her, all right? You should take care of yourself before we get her, okay? <laughs> Bella! Here, girl! Here, girl! Bella! <laughs> Shi 
I told her one half first, right? And then I know. we watched the rookies play basketball. Doc, Doc, come on, Doc, don't cry. Doc, hear me out. Hundreds of men and dogs in our battalion are looking for her. The police are also joining the search for Bella. We'll find her. We're here for you. Doc, don't blame yourself. The don't blame yourself, nice. right? Okay. So, I, so I, I took her for a walk, you know? And then we walked, and then I told her that's enough. We have to go back and take her pills, Doc. right? After Doc, we got I back, know. I went to get Doc. her pills. And when I turned around, Doc, I'm not, Doc, I was okay, just okay, going okay. to get her pills. Okay, right. I, I didn't lose her. It's I, not your fault, Doc, really. I didn't lose her. It's not she your fault, Doc, really. Far. Yeah. 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 She can't have gone far. With her injuries, she can't walk. I have a feeling we'll she find left her. The Sooner or later. <laughs> Doc! <laughs> Calm down. When Bella saw Long Fei showed up in front of her eyes, she became so happy. But she couldn't understand why Long Fei gave her the cold shoulder, as if he'd never known her before.
知道有一双眼睛清澈坚定，能将一切变得纯净。你知道有一种聆听牵动着你的神经。感受到与你的距离，有种感情叫做等，有种心动叫做等，有种默契叫做钟，有种信任叫做宠，有种快乐叫做疯。有种分离叫做痛，就在那一刻，世界安静了。你不是我的朋友，你是另一个我。就在那一刻，世界安。Bella trudged eighty kilometers, using up the very last of her strength, and came back to Company Three from Battalion. She clearly knows that her time is limited. She should come back. Her grave is here. She wants to rest with her brothers. For her, Company Three is the only place called home. 听，感受奔跑的声音，尽醉笃定。天不要命，静听等待的心跳声，勇敢者的真心情。是迷途中最亮的星，照亮了未来和曾经，支撑着每一段路前行。生命中所有拥抱和相遇，云淡风轻。
动情，下个轮回是否能激起你的声音？热闹的。乘着每一段路前行，生命中所有拥抱和相遇，云淡风轻，是归途中最美的心情。你的眼睛点燃了现实和梦境，云淡风轻。At ease. Attention. At ease. Get out. Doc. Doc. You're a veteran. You need to be strong. And set a good example. Fall in. Attention. Destination: K9 Graveyard, Company Three. Left. Face. March forward. Silly girl, I brought the other half just for you. Salute. Come on, over here. Have a look at my farm. <laughs> Dale, be good. Hey, Leo Bao, 
Why is he named after me? <sighs> Since I'm the only one here, I have no one to talk with. So I talk to them every day. Oh, uh, look. That's Tenhu. Eh, and this goose is Siping. <laughs> Later on, I came up with an idea. I named all these animals with your names. So whenever I call them, because they're always giving me trouble, it's as if you never left. I wish you were all still here. If you were here, I'd do anything you ordered me to do. Lebao, you've done a great job. I never expected you'd fix it up so tidy and clean. The moment I got here, I noticed the flower bed and the stone mural above the door. It's really amazing. I mean that, my friend. Sir, there's still a lot that I haven't fixed yet. Bravo! <laughs> Lieutenant Gao, I, I'm thinking if you, Bao, could turn the barracks into a small farm, why not pick up those retired dogs here and establish a shelter for them? Yeah. If someone could keep them company and talk to them instead of just feeding them like a pet, I believe they'll be a lot more happier. That's a good idea, but getting funding and approval isn't easy. We all know what happened to him. I just wonder that if we establish some sort of shelter in this old barracks and make him work here. Will it be good for his health? I'll have to think it over. But he's not suited for that kind of work. Lin Guo and I are trying to find him a good doctor. It'll just take time. Lieutenant Gao. Lieutenant Gao. I'm one of the last of the soldiers from Company 3. I just want to do something for it, so... Go on. I want to report it to the superior above you. Go over my head. I hope you can give me this chance, because... It's more convincing if I report it directly. I hope you can improve. We'll talk later. Oh. 